Hi. Uh, today I'm going to make a glitter canvas, like the ones that I've been drawing on for a while. I finally got more of my matte Mod Podge in the mail. I'm really excited about it. And so let's do it. Here we go. Okay. So, oh, wearing gloves because it's glitter and it's the herpes of crap supplies so it will get everywhere and never go away. Um, I've got uh, champagne gold, looks like rose gold to me. This is an extra fine sandy glitter in a turquoise color and I've got black. This is one of my favorite color combinations. I want it to be mostly dark so I'm going to go heavy on the black glitter. I'm going to mix it in this cup right here. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not doing exact measurements. I can always add to <clears throat> this after it's done. I am just kind of guessing here. If I were to guess, I would say it was like three parts black, one part each of the others. All right, so that's done. I've got this little mini whisk that I use for mixing paint, obviously. I think I it was, it was it, yeah, I think it was originally for mixing hair color. Mixed up. Okay, so let me see if that's what I want. Looks pretty good. It's just enough blue so that you know that it's there. And mostly black. Get the gold. Okay. So I've got a regular canvas here. Stretch it on the back, 10 inches square. A lot of it Michaels on clearance. <laughs> Good old clearance section at Michaels. And then I've got my matte Mod Podge. So what I'm going to do is open this. It's going to have that piece of cardboard. Yep. I think that's supposed to stay in the lid, but it never ever does. And we cut this stuff. There we go. Beautiful. It's like opening a jar of peanut butter. Okay. I just picked a random brush. You could use a sponge, but um, the Mod Podge tends to uh, make bubbles in sponges when you use those. It's, I don't prefer that. So I'm just going to put a layer down. Much better. Alright, so we've got our thin layer of Mod Podge. Now I'm going to take some glitter in my hand, just like this, and put down a layer so that I can no longer see the canvas. Alright, here we go. Not perfect. Got some edges that need covering, but that is just fine. So let's set that there and let it dry for a while. Here we go. Okay, so this is pretty much dry. What we're gonna do is let knock this off one last time. And then shake and tap. I'm gonna set this to the side. Take this. Try to collect everything towards the middle here, and then canvas, nice mod polish. I've got my brush that was chilling in some water. You gotta put the brush in water between, or that mod podge will dry. That is not good. I have dry Mod Podge in a brush. All right, so we're just gonna put another layer of Mod Podge down, just right on top of the glitter. I'm really gonna like brush it in there to make sure it gets in between all the glitter bits. Try and get it as even as possible. Now you see it didn't, the Mod Podge didn't hit the sides. So what I'm gonna do this time, after I'm done Mod Podging this thing, I'm gonna go back 
and go back over the sides so that I can double sure that I will get some glitter stuck to them. There we go. All right, looks good to me. It's still thin, we'll still have another opportunity to fix it. And let's just put down some more glitter, here we go. All right, looks good to me. Let's wait for it to dry. Okay, I think it's probably dry. I waited to knock the glitter off this time. I thought maybe I'd get better coverage that way. Let's see if it works. Hey, ooh, that looks great. Got it stuck. I don't see any white. Yeah, solid. All right, uh, so let's do the edges. I'm just gonna smooth down some of these drips, running my finger along the edge. That one's pretty clean. There's a bunch of drips on that side. Let's just smooth those down. That'll just make it easier, more even surface. <clears throat> even <there's not> work. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set this aside right now. I'm gonna get my glitter kind of centralized here so that I can set my edges down into it. That'll make it easier. So I'm just gonna hold it like this. Mod Podge over here. Brush has been sitting in water. Don't forget to put your brush in water for any uses. Alright, so I'm just going to do a layer of Mod Podge on here and then I'm going to set it down in the glitter. Lay it on pretty thick. Just rub it around, make sure really in there and kind of tilt it all the ways. Looks good. And next. I'm going to try and do these all in one shot. It's a little tricky right around here because all the edges are wet <laughs> and try not to touch them. But luckily there's this wood on the back that I can use to grab with. Makes it easier. That's what she said. Okay. Right. Looks good. <laughs> and now we're gonna let that dry. Alright. The next step is my favorite part, but first I need to clean this glitter up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to put our top layer of Mod Podge. This is going to be a very thick coat, so what we're going to do is pour it on. I have four Solo cups here that I can put my canvas on. The reason why I'm elevating it is because that Mod Podge is going to drip off the sides. And if I don't elevate it, it's going to stick to everything and be super annoying. Okay, do I need to raise this? Maybe. There we go. Alright. Got my Mod Podge. I'm going to pour it in kind of a circular swirly motion. Um, the trick is to not use too much, which I almost always do. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up by the bottom here, try and coat as much of it as I can without going over the sides. Sometimes you can kind of help it along with your fingers a little bit. 
Okay. Now, since we started at the top, I'm going to tilt it back towards the top in hopes of evening some of this out a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do now, um, the sides are kind of covered. You can see, like, ish, there's some spots that still need some work. And so what I'm going to do is take my finger, covered in Mod Podge. I just dipped it in that Mod Podge there. And I'm just going to kind of lightly tap along the empty spots until they are covered. All right, now this is going to take a little while to dry, longer than the other stuff. So I'm going to put the fan on and uh, I would leave it to record, but that would just take forever to upload. So uh, we'll see you when it's dry. Hi, welcome back. It is the next day and I am still wearing the same clothes that I wore yesterday. Uh, I did wash them. But I'm basically a cartoon character where I find something that I like and I just wear it over and over until I can't anymore. Here's the canvas. It's all dry. It took about eight hours overnight. It was dry when I woke up this morning. It looks good. It is nice and smooth, uh, perfect for gel pens. Uh, the back is a little bit messy, but it's not bad. Um, after you take your canvas off of the cups, you have to kind of watch out because there are often wet spots where the cups were. So like take it off the cups, set it down uh, to dry like this for an hour or so, and then it'll be fine. This is actually still slightly wet right there. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to draw something on this in my next video. Maybe a cupcake, maybe a self-portrait maybe something else. I don't really know, but that'll be my next video. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some <laughs> bonus footage of me searching for light bulbs in the studio. It's slightly embarrassing, but more fun for you that way, probably. See you later.